We had a couple age ups. So we need to give her a makeover today because they've given her a Karen cut. Don't love that for a teenager. Don't love it for anyone really. And Diana got an age up. She's now a young adult. So she actually is ready to move out. I want to say goodbye to Diana. I love her. Here's Eloise all growing up. The angel that she is needs quite the makeover because this is just... Eloise as a child was the easiest kid. She just entertained herself, did her homework. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> She's a proper bookworm. Oh my, I don't know if I'm really vibing any of these. She looks a lot older than she actually is. I like her with a fringe. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Wait, the Grim Cookies skins work on green skin oh you give her freckles oh she looks so cute with freckles what the heck all right okay okay we're giving her a skin detail let's undress you sorry lady i could be down for a dress on her charlie's junior is charlie's favorite and eloise is mine <laughs> I thought your fave was Diana. Well, Diana's moving out, so I need a new fave. <laughs> I love this dress. Oh, I like that as well. Okay, 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 okay. I've got to actually make a decision. I think I want to go for this one. It's not too, like, dressy. Like, she could go to school in that. It's so maybe a little low cut. <laughs> All right, that's her everyday outfit. For her formal dress, I wanted to put her in this. Oh, I like that though. No, actually, I think the other one is more flattering on her. All right, let's get rid of those gloves and the glasses. Are you wearing an earpiece? Oh, Eloise. Oh, those are cute. I like, I don't know, how do we feel about this? I feel like I would sleep in this for a party outfit. God damn, we can do better than that. <gasps> We can use this one. I mean, let's be real. Are we gonna be having her in a party outfit? It's unlikely. Nah, let's go fancy. Yeah, let's just go for a full rosy outfit. Look at that. That's super cute. And we'll give her some jandals. Some jandals. Oh my God, girl, you just need to calm down. Look how cute she is in this. I think I like this one the most. I haven't put eyelashes on a lot of The Sims, but for Eloise, there's a lot to be said for making my life easy in this game. You get special treatment and that special treatment is receiving eyelashes. Yeah. This was quite the makeover. She's she's gone from Karen to Eloise Beach. Human Charlize looks weird now, who is she? I actually feel a little uncomfortable looking at this. I don't think we can do this. I don't think we can either. I thought it was a good idea in my head. I want to give her a haircut or a hair hair extensions. I'm not I'm not sure what I want. <gasps> she looks so young. Wait, can we give her this? Is this not so beautiful? You can actually tell that there's like a texture. Girl, you looking expensive. Let's give her some really big eyelashes. Statement outfits for Charlize. We can't just half ass it. She needs something that's like, bam, I'm Charlize and I'm gonna steal your sperm. I'm done with this dress, but that's okay because I have a replacement for it. The ruffles, right? Like there's a place for Alpha CC in my game. Um, I feel like this one is good, but it's missing something. I think it's missing pearls. I think we should change this to the social distancing dress. Lovely, lovely. This is fine. This is good. I was going to do one more thing, and that was change her hair up. Do we go for a hair dye as well? She looks very different. How does it look with the other outfits? Oh, it's quite a lot. Oh, oh, I like that on her, actually. I like these as well. Okay, but like, this is amazing, right? I love this. She's giving me Pepper Potts vibes. I want this here and this here. Okay, actually, I like the dark. Maybe we could just dye it a little darker. Yeah, okay, we'll just dye it a little darker. This one for this one, this is Business Charlize. Party Charlize, I think that needs the hair out if anyone's gonna rock the green it's gonna be this woman's oh that's right wait we never did anything for gladys you know what? i kind of like the hair i got one cc dress well i guess you're getting it i like that we've put you in a little bucket hat when you're not going to go outside at all ever apologies in advance let's be real the toddler is never going to a formal event always go for the onesie 
Although I feel like sometimes when the hood's up, I forget which toddler is which. Charlize Jr. is looking great. Canberra just being a pain in the ass. Eloise just a, a queen. Gladys is done. Charlize is banging. Diana is moving out. Her sister Dottie is just existing still and freckles all right should we do something now just one of the twin sisters is leaving uh well at least diana won't have to deal with charlie's jr anymore because uh charlie's jr is just awful to everyone i totally forgot that diana was erratic dotty you're a pain in the ass did you do your homework no of course you didn't oh yeah let's move her in with barrel she loves barrel back to the box mansion why does everyone struggle to just exist? Hold on! The twins, Charlize Jr. and Canberra, age up in one day. I was so bad at getting them to A students, they're just gonna age up all on their own. Their younger sister moved out before them. Why are you so flirty? Oh, we can get you to do a flirty painting! Charlize looks so elegant i am not gonna get these two to work hard because they're aging up tomorrow should we look after our toddler or should we go out i reckon we should go out on a date who have we not had babies yet in our friends list we haven't had one with sergio you guys are gonna be okay here on your own right we could just take him to the pub yeah let's take him to the pub Ooh. <laughs> Why does he look like that? <laughs> My god. He's bored. Oh, I don't like him. Your face just annoys me. Compliment outfit. You're looking very snobbish. We're snobs too. Charlize has learnt that Sergio is materialistic. Say no more. Oh, what? Where did he go? Maybe this place wasn't snobby enough for him. We can take him somewhere better, somewhere more snobby. I'm not buying him dinner though. For you, is this more to your liking? She's comfy from expensive furniture. Furniture. Oh well, he might be happy. We made him flirty. Can you not be here, please? We're trying to get laid. <laughs> Which? Yeah, come sit on the expensive furniture. She's feeling happy because she's near misery. Oh, cause these guys are miserable. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Whoa, what just happened there? I'm sorry. Did you just ask on a date? Yeah, let's ask him on a date. Because then we can earn some money, you know? The kids will be fine at home. Yeah, we're gonna go on a date. Oh, <gasps> she said... He said no? And now he's flirting with Nadia from Soccer Mums? Um, alright. Well, I feel like... This is an orgy. Let's go home then and start our evil plan. Sergio, you're coming home with us. I guess we could just lock him in a room. Let's take him into the playroom. Guess since you're aging up tomorrow, you can not do your homework and just go do what you love most, which is punching things. You, on the other hand, need to do your homework. <laughs> you're right. What's wrong? Okay, great. He's in the room. You enjoy yourself in here. You're never coming out, and thanks for rejecting us. Might take a couple of days, but you know what? I can be patient. My goodness, Canberra. Oh yeah, toddlers. We have those. Level five in communication? Freckles? Who are you? You've only got the potty and thinking to go before we can age you up to a kid. I want Charlize to wake up so we can invite a dude over. You know what? We could probably put some flooring down now as well. I'm a bit over the whole concrete look. Look, it actually looks like a house now. I really should get going now, thanks. Okay, well, you know, whenever you're ready, just walk out the door. What is Vlad doing here? Do we try it with Vlad again? Brighton day? I reckon we should, why not? We tried to romance him last time and oh my gosh, it was so difficult. How do you feel about starting up this little spark again, huh? Wait, what? Oh my god, no, 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 no. All right, if you don't want to make a baby with us, then leave, okay? We don't want anything to do with you. Oh my god, he's in the toddler room. We can describe aesthetics to Vlad. Vlad is on thin ice. I just want you to know that we have one hostage already in our house and I don't feel bad about getting a second one. I'm gonna send you home, all right? Off you go. 
Thanks for coming, but please don't come into our children's room at night. Vlad. Vlad. You have crossed a line. I'm going to give you one more chance. If you come back, it's bye-bye time. Okay, all right, okay. You know what? That's it. You have crossed a line, death by sunlight. Yeah, why not? This is it. Right in front of our toddlers, I am going to kill you. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill you. Yes, perfect. Um, Grim, I know you're, like, got a job and stuff, but how would you feel about babysitting for a little, a little bit? Do you want to say hi to Grim? Freckles, Freckles, you want to say hi to Grim? Could be your new baby daddy. <laughs> we'll put that above the front door, maybe. That's good. Everyone's, wait, everyone's in bed. Are you for real? How are you doing in here? He's still reading kids books. Oh, you can't leave, huh? Oh no. Oh, sorry about that. What do you think now? You are regretting your decisions a little bit? I mean, we probably would have killed you anyway, so it was always doomed for you, mister. I mean, his face was so punchable, like he was always gonna die. Almost Freckles' birthday? Oh my god, really? Is it your birthday today? Zero days until aging up. It's your birthday! Oh, looking a little rough around the edges there, Sergio. You guys are missing high school today. It's getting worse and worse in here, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait for these guys to be gone. On. I'm gonna miss Charlize Jr. but I'm not gonna miss Canberra at all. She's a public enemy. She's mean. She's also cheerful. Time to go out into the big wide world and wreak havoc. He can't even blow out the candles. This boy's useless. <laughs> oh he's the kleptomaniac and he's also a genius. I'm sorry I can't know. A child of the ocean. Yeah all right. I think that things are gonna be better because we're not going to have any teenagers. But the reality is, when we don't have teenagers, we have toddlers. We really need to get Charlie's pregnant. Oh! We're getting some inheritance under what conditions? All right, well, we just got $2,000. I love that! So, baby daddies, that is today's task. Who have we got down here? All right, people we have already stolen the sperm of. Yeah, all right, here we go. We can't leave the lot because I want Sergio to die in here. Took us all day to walk here, but we're here. Oh, we got a sentiment. We adore him. This is going really well. We actually might be in the money. Right, and we're getting a selfie. Oh, you're a bit far apart. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, now he wants to take another one. Oh, it, just one of him this time. I hope you enjoy the picture I just took. He's giving us a rose. This boy is definitely sticking around. We can already have our first kiss. Okay, I'm actually scared to do that. <laughs> Let's try the first kiss. He hasn't rejected any of our advances. We got the music. Oh, yes, let's go. Well, that didn't take long. Are we gonna do it in the kids' bathroom? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, Dottie! You... <laughs> That's definitely about as traumatizing as it gets, actually. Well, we're already in the bathroom. So that's good. Oh god, there's a lot of racket in the other room. She's just like, pretend I can't hear it. Are we pregnant? That is the real question. <laughs> we are pregnant. Great! Well, for being such a fantastic candidate, uh, you will not be murdered. You are so very welcome, Rahul. 